Listen, you probably want your career, whatever you're pursuing, to be long, successful, and fulfilling. And well, I want that for you as well. I really do hope today's video is helpful for you. I wanna talk a little bit what I've been learning in my career over the past you know, 15 odd years. And to quote Michelangelo, who is arguably the greatest sculptor of all time, it's this. If people knew how hard I had to work to gain my mastery, it would not seem so wonderful at all. Michelangelo had a secret. It was that he worked hard. Now he did have a basic level of talent, but that man worked so hard. And if you read the stories about him, there's so many times that clients bailed on him after he worked hundreds of hours, but he kept persevering. And this video isn't gonna be about me saying, hey, you gotta work harder. I wanna talk about how you can find happiness in your career and just a few small tips that have definitely shaped my life. I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy in my career stressing about where I would be in my 30s when I was missing what was happening right in front of me in that moment. Quote someone else who's probably equally as smart as Michelangelo, people think it must be fun to be a super genius, but they don't realize how hard it is to put up with all the idiots in the world. Calvin and Hobbes. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You're probably not a super genius. So stop blaming others. And that's not a guilt trip. It's actually a really empowering thought. You see, you get the chance to take control of your direction, your destination, your destiny. I will guarantee you this. If you're any sort of artist or filmmaker or anyone at all who's trying to pursue a passion, you will not achieve it. I guarantee you will not find the fulfillment you're looking for if you only ever hope that it happens to you. My favorite projects, the ones that have all got Vimeo staff picks or the most awards, have been projects that no one was asking me to create. No one was asking me to make them. Even if no one sees your passion project, it will embody you because every decision requires your own inspiration. It requires your own discipline. So in the end, you can be proud of whatever you created, even if you don't like it. I found that it's really easy to focus on the destination. That's always gonna feel like that's where things are gonna be better, when we'll finally feel fulfilled. But what you can learn right now is in these moments, when you're working jobs that you don't like, when you're taking photos for a company that you don't enjoy, these are crucial steps in your career. They're moments for you to learn that you don't like something and knowing what you don't like is just as important as pursuing what you do like. Maybe you just edited a film and you don't like it. You're not happy with the final job. Great, this is knowledge, this is helpful. Whether it's that you don't like that genre film and you don't want to pursue that, or maybe it's that you know there's some areas you can improve in. This is huge. This is so helpful for your career. There are no failures. There are just steps towards greater success. I keep looking at my career, whether I'm still in filmmaking or not, as something that I want to be doing when I'm 70 years old. So when there's some setbacks, when I get videos taken down off my YouTube, or there's other directors who are having better success in this moment in their directing careers than me, I'll remember that I'm going somewhere, that there's a journey that I can enjoy. And, and I know this too, that the destination, this idea of having made it, which I know I'm nowhere near, I actually don't think there's any way to actually ever make it. I don't think that there's a place that suddenly brings instantaneous happiness. But what I do know is this, that when I can align my schedule and my values, the things I care about, the things I'm passionate about, this brings fulfillment. The feeling I get right now, it's like, it doesn't, money can't buy it. It's like when you're working on projects, let's say when your passions and your schedule align, that is true happiness. You don't need money. Especially when you surround yourself with people that you love and that you care about. Again, this is a big advertisement for passion projects. They often will align with your values and they are so fulfilling. You know, our film Battleground. I made this about my friends who I loved and I was passionate about understanding their story. And I got to work with an amazing first time director, Kwesi, on it. 
This was a passion project. No one was paying for us. And this was one of the favorite things that I've gotten to make over the past few years. Which also too, if you like this poster, I'm selling them now, they're on sale. You can help me recoup the costs because it was a passion project, no one was funding it. You can go check that out. There's only like 20 of these printed, so they'll go quick. They don't come in a frame, but you can buy the frame for like 20 bucks. But we're shipping worldwide, and if you can't find your country, just message me. But go check that out. There's only 20 of them. They're going quick. And the weird thing with passion projects is they always seem to open up more doors than any other job that I could work. As soon as I released that film, I had multiple brands over in Europe asking me to come film similar projects for their brand. Now, we have a government who is locking us down here in Canada, so I wasn't able to go over. And also, we have a lot of other jobs coming up. And to wrap this up, I want to leave you with a small metaphor. I've been challenging myself recently to do a bit of mindfulness meditation. Alongside my prayer and my devotions, I do this where I'll take 10 minutes away from my phone to not think about anything. And recently, I found myself staring at a blank wall. That's what I was doing for it. And I saw these bricks. I began to think about these bricks. Each one helped build that wall. You couldn't actually say which brick was the most important. And this is what I kind of feel is like our career, our journey in life. Each moment, each job, each success, each failure is as important as the next one. It makes up the whole tapestry of your life as much as any other moment. There isn't just one moment that says, hey, now you're a success in life. It's a whole cacophony of different moments. Look the word up. The same could be said for a path that has interlocked bricks. Each brick that you lay down on that path is gonna help you get to that final destination, wherever that is. And for me, I don't like to think that there is a place that I'm gonna end on. I like to think that the destination is the journey. When I had a life coach, I told him when I was 24 years old that I wanted to have an Academy Award winning short documentary made by the time I was 27. And I'm 34 now, and that still hasn't happened but I'm pursuing it, I'm making films. We have this whole academy now, Art of Documentary, and we're seeing people take steps towards their journey, and every moment is important. So there's been one thing that I've taken out of my career, and it's completely changed everything for me. It's given me a new perspective, and that's this, hurry. I wanna be a better filmmaker when I'm 70. I don't care about being the best filmmaker tomorrow. I wanna enjoy this journey, and putting this weird pressure on myself to be that person tomorrow, to have to change everything, to feel like every project, every next film I'm working on is the thing that's gonna make it or break it for me. Ah, it just takes the fun out of this. It's no longer enjoyable. I wanna learn to enjoy every moment, every failure, every success, so that when I'm 70, I'm better and not better. So remember that, you wanna be better at 70. I'm, I'm actually quoting one of my favorite communicators, Judah Smith. He got tattooed on his leg and it's something that's really inspired me and something I'm trying to live by myself. But appreciate you guys watching this again. If you wanna help support Battleground, go grab one of our posters right now. They're on sale, they're in my store. The link is below, there's only a few left. Uh, I printed a, just a limited copy of them. This one is going to my DP. And there is no frame, but we will roll up the poster and mail it to you in a mailing tube. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching this one. And I will see you on the next one. I hope this helped. See ya.